Hello guys and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we'll be implementing the template for our app component. So the app component looks something like this. Now, as you can see, we can consider this as one row inside which we will be having two columns. And then in this column, this would be divided into um, two rows as well. And then in the first row, we will have two columns for these buttons. And in the second row, we will have this uh, three buttons right here. Okay, so uh, let's try to replicate this uh, look and uh, let's go to Visual Studio Code now. And now I'm going to open the app component. Now, as you can see in the in the version of uh, app that we have right now, it just has a welcome app and all these uh, temp all these things inside the template that we don't really need. So I'll just get rid of the whole template. And let's start fresh. Okay, now, uh, like I said, first, let's wrap everything inside a container. And then inside this container, I will have uh, a row. And let's go back to the layout. In this row, we will have two columns. So in this row, two columns. All right. Now, in the second column, we will have a template for sign in and sign up. But in this column, we will have uh, again two rows. So a div with a row a div with a class of row like so in the first row we will have two columns so column sorry column times two and in the second row we will have three buttons and uh, in below this we'll have a horizontal rule like so now in this column I will have uh, three buttons. So button with classes of uh, button and button primary and button block. Now we will have about four such buttons. Okay. And then let's say this first one is for Google. The second one is for uh, mm, Facebook. The third one is for um, Twitter. And the fourth one is for GitHub. And then we can type in the texts like uh, Google login with pop up and I'm just gonna copy that this would be Facebook login with pop up this is going to be Twitter login with pop up and for this one it's going to be GitHub login with pop up and I'm just going to copy this whole template right here and let's paste this out in this column as well and instead of pop up it's going to be with uh, redirect all right now in this column on the other hand we are going to have a button with a class of button and button primary and button block as well and we are going to have uh, three buttons of these sorts 
each one will have a login with um, email password um, then we'll have this one for login with phone and the last one for login with anonymous for this one we have um, email phone and anonymous now we have made classes for all these already so let's save and get back to see how our template looks like so far okay so we can see that uh, this is the template and this is uh, how it's almost looking in here uh, now we haven't really implemented this part so we'll do that at a later point but so far it's uh, looking like this and uh, that's the look i was going for anyway so um, let's also add some icons to this section quickly so for um, for google we need uh, this icon right here so i just copied the icon from uh, font awesome and let's just paste that out um, in here like so we'll do the same for Facebook so here's the Facebook icon copy and paste and let's quickly do the same for Twitter so here's the one for Twitter let's copy and paste and let's do the same for github and I'm going to implement the same for the rest of the template so let me do that quickly alright so now that I've added icons for all these uh, buttons this is how it looks like uh, on the template okay so far so good alright so let's now quickly create the template for uh, the form as well uh, I'm going to go back to the app component and in here I'll just uh, make some template for uh, the sign in sign up form uh, so we need uh, two text fields here and a button so I'll wrap that inside a form like so so we need a form and in this form we need uh, two divisions um, so this one is of type form group inside which I need a label and I need an input with a type of form control and I need this uh, about two times like so I also need apart from this a button with a class of uh, button and button primary as well as uh, button block and this says sign up let's just wrap this in a new line so the name of this is going to be email and for this one the name is going to be password and its type is going to be password like so let's save that and 
let's see how it looks like in code okay so we have uh, a form that looks something like this let's also add labels for it so this one is for email this one is for password and this is email and this is password let's save and go back and now we have the labels as well in place so um, we almost have our template ready uh, let's make a subtle change to the way it looks um, it's a bit at the top so on the container class I'm going to add a margin top of about 10% and let's see how it looks like now okay so it looks a bit better as compared to the previous look uh, and uh, I guess this would be all for this particular video um, in the next video we'll implement uh, user auth uh, user auth with uh, google sign in provider so i'll see you guys in the next video